Hey y'all, hey, this is Danielle the teacher, Danielle the food truck owner, and Danielle who is here at school on this beautiful Thursday. So I was looking at my Facebook page and I noticed that my little wish list, y'all saw my wish list from Amazon? I know I post a lot, I put too many pictures, I was photo dumping, but I had my list from Amazon and girl, nobody has bought me nothing off my list, not one thing. And I'm not feeling no type of way because, you know, I'm going to get what I need to get. But, you know, people been, you know, doing these wish lists, um, showing what they got. And I'm like, that's nice. Maybe it's not for me. But if you want to bless me, and I ain't telling you to have to because God's going to take care of me. But if you want to be a blessing to me so I could be a blessing to the children, I got a little wish list over there. If you want to buy school supplies and give it to a church or something, bless the children. I know y'all always say, oh, them people have money to get shoes and clothes and nails and hair and cars and things like that. Some people just need a little extra help. If you have a little extra money, get up somebody at school supplies. Find out where they go and do school supplies. Also, they have shoe drives, okay? In Mandeville, my group, the Mandy Milkshakers, they are doing shoe drives. Get some shoes for the children. You can go to some places. They got um, inexpensive shoes on Timu, Shein, um, at these um, Walmart. Go and donate. If you ain't donating to me, donate to somebody else. Because I'm donating, okay? I got to go buy my school supplies for church. And you know I give stuff away all the time. And I'm not trying to brag about that because I'm really not. I'm just telling you, this would be a good Thursday for you to go and bless somebody today. Okay, even if you got to bless somebody with a phone call, bless somebody with something to eat, whatever you have to give, like the little drummer boy say, I don't have much to give, but he brought his drum for Jesus for Christmas. The song, the little drummer boy, you know song? rather it was, you know, real or not, the boy said he had no gift to bring, but he brought his talent. So go help somebody do something today. If you want to donate to my list, I reposted it. I did. But if not, I understand. Help another child out. All right? Let me get in this classroom because I've really been sitting in this parking lot for like 20 minutes. And I need to go. All right? I'll talk to y'all later and when I get in the classroom. Bye now. So as y'all can see right here, I'm getting ready to get rid of these um, drawers because they have a lot of stuff in here that I need to use. But I really can't see it because it's always packed up. So I'm getting rid of this old bookshelf i need to move all of this stuff right here so i think i'm going to work on that today or uh, either today and the next time i come up here because i need to change my look so let me go catch this phone and i'll see y'all in a bit all right you guys i'm in my classroom again i told you that i was going to get rid of those two shelves and i decided to move this third shelf and i'm going to put it over here i think by my back wall but the only thing that's making me super sad is that I have to, not super sad, but I have to erase my, um, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but the one that endures to the end, loop, seven, um, the baller. Like this was kids that graduated from here and they had on there. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to erase it or just leave it. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now, but if I do erase it, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to take a picture of it so I can always have it. But I'm rearranging everything. And this just reminds me of the sermon that I heard from Bishop T.D. Jakes. He talked about a disruption. And when you think about things being disrupted, it makes you move things. Things get out of order. But when it comes back together, you have something anew. So right now, the disruption you see in my room is that I'm moving stuff around, taking stuff out, rearranging, and going to make it better. I cannot wait till you all see the finished product of this. I am still thinking, but I'm going to be leaving in a little while, but I just wanted to show you guys where I've been. And let me show y'all something super funny. All right. So this stuff has been waxed under my cabinets, under my shelves. So I'm going to have to clean that up. I'm going to put a refrigerator right there and I just need to clean some things up, but it was kind of funny. So I thought I'll show that to y'all. All right. I am Danielle, the teacher, Danielle, the food truck owner, and Danielle, who's causing a disruption in my room, but it's going to come out to be a positive outcome. Stick with me. I know. All right, you guys, I'm heading over there now to erase this. Um, I want to say that this right here was for Connor. He was in my 10th grade class and he called himself a baller. He's in college now, probably playing baseball. Turn me up. That was a song that I heard and seven was, I was on loop and 
999 because I used to tell kids you don't want me to go from zero to a thousand and I'm always on 999 so that was kind of funny you got this and the race is not given to the swift nor the strong but the one that endures to the end so guess what we about to do this thing okay yes now this is not chalkboard paint this is just regular black paint and it's been up here so long I'm gonna have to wash it first and then after that I'm going to have to re like wipe it all off first let it soak and then come back and clean it later once it dries. I'm using some, this is a mixture of Mr. Clean lemon and water. So my suggestion to you, if you like painting on your walls, I hate to talk backwards. If you want to paint on your walls, I will tell you, especially if you have center block, to use um, just regular black paint. This right here is a piece of sheetrock. So um it's gonna come off and it's easy but when i have to do the the center blocks it's, it's a task so what's going to happen is it's going to clean on here and it might turn like a white color because i'm erasing the chalk but i can always come back and rewipe that and get off and i'm not really too concerned about what it looks like because once i put this here you won't see it and <clears throat> this will be a display of like my family uh, just different trinkets i may put some books on there some things that really mean a lot to me on this wall because this is going to be my area and my students are very good about not going into my space so that's going to be great i'm just going to wipe all this down y'all i was seriously thinking about wiping all this off my wall i don't know i just feel like i need to so I'm going keep, to keep, keep that in the back of my mind so you might come here one day and see my classroom with nothing on it. I don't know. <coughs> Stop the straw. All right. So let me go ahead and do this because I'm about to get on the chair. And y'all only see my thigh meat thigh on the chair. See that? I got to work on that. See this right here? This is too much. But anyway, let me go clean this up and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. All right. Bye. All right, you guys. I've moved everything and I'm about to get out of here because the weather is looking terrible. But I just wanted to show you. How I moved a couple of things. I see some things I need to clean, like my blinds, make that look nicer. Um, I did erase the wall. It came out pretty decent. I'm going to have something else over there, maybe written on the side. Um, I put the shelf here. Um, I put my desk right here. I haven't finished just quite this area yet. So I just kind of like moved stuff out the way. Like these things were on the bookshelf. And I took the other shelf that was gifted to me. And this is all the books and stuff I got to go through. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing right here because I kind of have a big drawer of that. Um, I'll put the other shelf up here. So this probably will be where all my craft stuff will be. <clears throat> I got a lot to think about and a lot to do. So I need to get out of here because the weather is getting bad and I don't want to get stuck anywhere. But this is day 1.5, I guess. Well, this is really like day one of sorting, getting things out the way, you know, just trying to make it look like a classroom. I promise you it's gonna be nice. All right, well, stick with me and I will see you all later. Let me get out of here because the weather is looking horrible. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside. See how my classroom have stuff scattered. You know, this is driving me crazy, but it's gonna be okay. See how the weather looks? It is bad. So I need to get out of here, um, but I will talk to y'all real soon. I am Danielle, the teacher, Danielle, the food truck owner, and Danielle, who's about to leave. Bye now.